Good morning, Wi-Fi land all over the world today. We greet you in the name of the Son of God, the lover of your soul, the redeemer of all men. All men can trust in him. All men should trust him. To him be the glory both now and forevermore. Amen. There's two words in the Bible that are just captivating. You wouldn't expect it, but two words, but God, but God. Those two words can change everything in your life, change everything in your life. I think of Joseph. Uh, when he was betrayed uh, by his brethren, they envied him through no fault of his own. He was a good, righteous young man. Uh, his father loved him and gave him a coat of many colors, and they envied him. His brethren envied him because of that. And so they were moved with envy, and they sold him into Egypt. But Acts 7 verse 9 says this, even though his brethren sold him into Egypt, even though there was hatred in their hearts toward him, but God was with him. But God was with him. And you know, God was with Joseph because he never had bitterness in his heart. He didn't have anger in his heart. He didn't have unforgiveness in his heart. Joseph could know that God was with him because Joseph was with God. And Joseph could commit his circumstances to the Lord. Uh, his life was not in the hands of his brethren. His life was not in the hand of, of uh, Potiphar or Potiphar's wife. His, hand was, his life was not even in the hand of Pharaoh. His life was in the hand of God. But God, but God was with him. And then in Genesis 50 and verse 20, when Joseph is being reconciled to his brethren, he said this, but as for you, Ye thought evil against me, but God meant it for good. You thought evil, but God meant it for good. Joseph saw that God intended all these things in his life for good to accomplish God's purpose. And God's purpose was to use Joseph's life in order to uh, uh, fill up the storehouses of Egypt that he might feed his brethren, those that had betrayed him. What an incredible picture of the cross. Uh, we were enemies. We were enemies uh, toward God. But we read in uh, Romans 5, 8, But God, but God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He went to the cross. He suffered all these things, as we see in the life of Joseph, suffering these things. Why? That he might be, bring blessing upon the very ones that crucified him. It was for our sins that he died. But God, but God commendeth. He demonstrates his own love toward us. In Ephesians chapter 2, in verse uh, 4, I believe it is, he says, But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses and sins. But God, here we are dead in trespasses and sins, but God, who is rich in mercy, but God, he changes everything. God changed everything at that moment, but God. He changed it in your life. He changed it in my life in that moment when we trusted Christ. Maybe you're going through something right now, a struggle, but you can know this, but God is faithful. There's no trial that is taking you, but that which is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted above that you're able. Oh, God is faithful, but God, but God. May we, whatever you're going through right now, whatever the situation of your life, uh, if you're without Christ, you need to know that while you are still in your sin at this moment, but God commands, he demonstrates, he's showing you his love as he points you to Calvary, as it points you to Christ, and everything will change in your life when you can say, but God had mercy upon me. May it be so for you. In Jesus' name, amen.